Let's take a look now at percentage increases and decreases. For an increase, all you need to do is work out the percentage amount and add it on. So if we're increasing 80 pounds by 10%, well, what is 10% of 80? 10% of 80 is eight, so we're adding that on 88. 10% of 2000 is 200, add it on 2200. What's 20% of 400? Well, 10% is 40, so 20% is gonna be double that, which is um, 80. So add 80 on 480. What's 50% of 80,000? Well, 50% remember is half, half of 80,000 is 40,000. So we're adding 40,000 to 80,000. So our answer is 120,000. So nice and easy. If you're using a calculator, there are two ways you can do it. So first of all, we need to work out 14% of this amount. So you could use our sort of standard percentage multiplier, which is 0 0.14 multiplied by 180. And that comes to a total um, of 25 pounds 20. And all we need to do is add that on to the 180 and that comes to a total of 205 pounds 20. But there is a much quicker way. Instead of working out 14% and then adding it on, what we can do instead of using this figure here, which is our basic percentage multiplier, we are gonna use a multiplier for a percentage increase, which is this number here with one added to it. So if I add one to 0 0.14, I get 1.14. And if I multiply 180 by 1.14, I go directly to that answer of 205 pounds and 20. So there's two ways you can do it. You can either multiply the total by your basic multiplier and then add that on. In other words, work out 14% and then add it on. Or instead of using your basic multiplier, use your multiplier for a percentage increase, which is basically the same, but instead of it being zero point whatever, it's one point whatever. And then that takes you directly to the answer. So it's just one step. Whereas doing it this way, my 0 0.14 is two steps because you need to work out 14% and then add it on. So if I'm increasing 167 pounds by 19%, the quick way to do it is to multiply 167 by 1.19 and that will take me directly to 198 pounds and 73. Alternatively, work out 19% of 167 and then add it on to 167, you'll still get 19873. The multiplier for 64% is 0 0.64. So for an increase, it's going to be 1.64. So 1.64 is what we need to multiply our 2008 by. And that will give us a total of £3,293.12. Alternatively, do 0 0.64 times 2008, whatever that is, add it on to the 2008, it will still give you that answer. Percentage multiplier for 37% is 0 0.37, but for an increase it's 1.37. So that's what we multiply 4,009 by, and 4,009 multiplied by 1.37 comes to 5,492 pounds 33. Alternatively, just work out 37% using 0 0.37 times 4,009, and whatever that answer is, add it on to the 4,009, you'll still get your five. 49233. So two ways to do it, just depending on how confident you are with your percentage multipliers. So just a quick recap, if you're, uh, for, let's say, choose a number at random, let's say 73%, if you're working out 73% of something, you'd use the multiplier 0 0.73. But if you want to increase by 73%, you would multiply your total by 1.73. A decrease is just the same, except you're subtracting. So 10% of 80 is eight pounds. So we're taking eight pounds off. So that is 72 pounds. And for the next one, 10% of 2000 is 200. So 2000 take away 200 is 1800 pounds. 20% of 400, well, 10% is 40. So 20% is going to be 80, take off 80, 320. So it's the same as an increase, except you're subtracting from the total rather than adding it on. Now for the decreases with a nasty amount, there's two ways you can do it. Either you can 
work out 14% and subtract it. So you could do 0 0.14 multiplied by 180. In fact, let's just work that one out. 0 0.14 times 180, that's 25 pounds 20. So we need to subtract that from the 180 and that comes to 154 pounds 80. Now, if something reduces by 14%, then that means it now has a value of 86% of what it was because 100 take away 14 is 86. So rather than work out 14% of this amount and take it off, we could simply work out 86%. So, and the multiplier for 86% is 0 0.86. And 0 0.86 multiplied by 180 is, guess what? 154 pounds and 80p. So, this is where things can be a little bit confusing for some people. The multiplier for 14% is 0 0.14. If you're increasing by 14%, it's 1.14. But if you're decreasing by 14%, the multiplier is 0 0.86. And if you're struggling to understand why it's 0 0.86, remember when something reduces in price, for example, by 14%, you're just paying 86% of the original amount. In this next one, if we're decreasing by 19%, that means we are the, the new value is 81% of what it was originally. So we need to work out 81% of 167. The multiplier for 81% is 0 0.81. So that is our calculation. 0 0.81 times 167 comes to 135 pounds 27. Alternatively, just work out 19% of 167 0 0.19 times 167 is 31 pounds 73 take that from the 167 and we still get exactly the same answer so if you're not comfortable using these funky multipliers for percentage decreases just keep it nice and simple work out 19 percent subtract it if something falls by 64 percent then that means you need to work out 36% of the original amount. So 2008 times 0 0.36 is our calculation. And 2008 times 0.36 comes to a total of 722 pounds and 88 P. Alternatively, work out 64% of 2008 and subtract it from 2008 and you'll still get this answer here. If something is, re is decreasing by 37%, then we need to work out 63% of what it was originally. So 0 0.63 multiplied by 4009, and that comes to a total uh, 0 0.63 times 4009, that comes to a total of 2,525 pounds and 67p. Again, it's absolutely fine. Work out 37%, 0 0.37, multiply by 4,009, and then whatever this figure is, subtract it from 4,009, and you should still get exactly the same answer. Now, percentage change. Now, if there's a simple formula for percentage change, which is the difference divided by the original amount multiplied by 100. Although sometimes you don't even need to think about the formula if the questions are really easy. Like th these ones on this slide here are quite easy. So if an employee's hourly rate has increased from £10 to £12, that is an increase of 2 from 10. Now all we need to do is to turn this fraction into a percentage. Now a percentage is an equivalent fraction which is out of 100. You could simply use the formula 2 divided by 10 times 100 but 2 out of 10, that is the same as what out of 100? Well, that's the same as 20 out of 100, so that's a 20% increase. 10 to 18, that's a difference of 8. The original amount was 10. 8 divided by 10 times 100, or simply just turn it into a fraction out of 100 by adding a 0 top and bottom, 80%. 25 to 28 is an increase of 3 from 25. You could use the formula 3 divided by 25 times 100, or not using a calculator to turn 25ths into 100ths, you're multiplying by 4. So for an equivalent fraction, you need to multiply the top by 4 as well. 4 threes are 12, so that is a 12% increase. 20 to 38, that is a jump of 18 from 20. I'd probably use, a cal use the formula, use a calculator. 18 divided by 20 times 100, but you 
you can do it this way 20 into 100 goes five times and 18 multiplied by 5 is 90 so that is a 90 percent increase notice the questions just say uh, what is it as a percentage change not as a percentage increase so i guess strictly speaking you should rather than just write 20 percent 80 percent you should write a 20 percent increase an 80 percent increase etc rather as opposed to decrease here we're looking at some decreases again it's the same formula it's the difference divided by the original multiplied by 100 so here there's a difference of one it was originally 10 so one out of 10 is the same as 10 out of 100 so that is a 10 percent change it is a 10 percent decrease here this is a change of four it was originally 10 so that is a decrease of 40 percent so that is a 40 percent decrease 25 to 16 that is a difference of nine pounds from 25 uh, feel free to use the formula here uh, 9 divided by 25 times 100 or if you can turn that into a percentage just by converting the bottom numbers and the top numbers 25 times 4 is 100 so 9 times 4 is 36 so that's a 36 percent change and it's a de it's going it's a decrease so it's a 36 percent decrease this one's going from 20 to 8 so that's a difference of 12 it was originally 20 12 out of 20 is the same as what out of 100? Well, we could always just do 12 divided by 20 times 100 using the formula. 20 times 5 gives us the 100, so 12 times 5 is 60. So that's a 60% change. It's a 60% decrease. So here are some more complicated ones where, uh, well, they're not more complicated, they're just harder numbers, but you definitely use the calculator here. So first of all, well, let's just write down the formula. It's the difference divided by the original amount multiplied by 100. So what is the difference between these two values? 32,800 take away 24,456. That is a difference of 8,344. What was the original amount? Well, what was it before it increased? So that's 24,456 multiplied by 100. So 8,344 divided by 24,456 multiplied by 100, that is a 34% change. Well, it's slightly over, perhaps in the question they would tell you to give your answer to the nearest whole number or something. Okay, here we're looking at the percentage change. Oh, and we, again, this was, because this has gone up, we should write that that is a 34% increase. Sales of Mars bars have gone down by 800, 13,000 minus 12,200 is 800. They, um, the original number of sales was 13,000. So that is our calculation. 800 divided by 13,000 multiplied by 100. And that comes to well, just over a 6% change. And as it's gone down, that is a 6% decrease.